all regulatory processes can always be improved. All regulatory processes benefit from ongoing assessments to ensure that they strike the right balance between facilitating input in support of the public interest and ensuring that people who are investing huge sums of money are not left in an uncertain investment climate. Uh, the federal government has undertaken to do a, a review of its regulatory processes and I think it will be, as it always has been, a question of maintaining that balance between private capital that is invested and the need to ensure that the public interest is adequately uh, presented and considered. I believe the previous federal government uh, changed the legislation to empower a cabinet to make the ultimate decision. So unless the government and subsequently parliament agrees to changes, the reality is that uh, the regulator will provide a report and then find conditions. But at the end of the day, it is cabinet that has the, the ultimate uh, decision-making authority. Having good data is a good start. Having just serious comparative analysis that permits one to take stock of what other jurisdictions do and be able to situate your undertakings within a comparative uh, context uh, is also helpful. Trust is the essential uh, liquid that makes is, uh, all communications possible. Trust is not something that is given to anyone. Trust is something that needs to be earned every day. This notion of trust between governments, stakeholders, communities, has been an issue for decades. When you do major infrastructure work, there's a community that gets affected, and they need to understand why. They need to understand the benefits that will flow from this undertaking. But it is extraordinarily important to ensure transparency during these exercises. Trust and transparency usually are fellow travelers. Point one would be to any company uh, looking downstream at potential investments to, to meaningfully engage with all community stakeholders early on. Second, transparency and integrity of data is important because if you do not do so, you're under risk at some point of being contradicted. Thirdly, to have a perspective on the external environment, to know the perspectives, the arguments that uh, people who are not supportive of your project will undertake, uh, what will be the issues on which they will focus. I think governments that engage early and lay out their perspectives as to what they're trying to do, recognizing that you will never get unanimity. You will never get a perspective where everybody is uh, because there's too much of an atomization in the uh, marketplace of ideas and policies. So clarity of purpose and early engagement tends to enhance the chances of success.